So today we are going to uh, Bocaron Beach, Playa Bocaron. We're in the other uh, entry drive here. Very soon approaching the uh, Balneario. They're gonna take a little money from us, probably four dollars, maybe five. But uh, we'll, we'll find out here in just a moment. Here it is, the little toll house. Uh oh. What's this guy doing? Who knows? He doesn't uh -oh. want to pay. Oh, is it closed? Is it closed? Serrado, closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Ah, uh, 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 bummer. Bummer. Okay, closed. Is it? So closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but uh, we parked on the side of the road, as other people have done, and we're just going to hoof it on in. We got our new Tommy Bahama chairs and we're ready for action. <laughs> So it's a beautiful property here. All these palm trees. And there's a big parking lot here when you can get in. But, uh, you know, it's just, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, Balneario. Not as much shade as uh, many beaches that, we, that we've uh, we come to. But uh, hopefully we won't have too much of a problem. Find some shade today because not too many people here, just the people who hoof it on in. And then uh, we're adventurous, we can walk off here to the right and uh, get ourselves a drink. But let's go see if we can find ourselves a palm tree for the day, like this one right over here. There's the beach, super, super nice, super calm, just, uh, you know, just beautiful here, particularly since not too many people here. You see the lifeguard stand down there in the distance. Roped off swimming area. And uh, we're good to go. Here's our, here's where we're setting up underneath this little palm tree. We should be good to go for the day. Ready to go. So here is uh, from the swimming area, from the water, water view of the beach here at uh, Balnearia Boca Rome. Again, Super calm, not a lot of people here because it's uh, <laughs> it's closed, but uh, you know, very, very, very nice, uh, very nice beach here. So, we're enjoying a beautiful Saturday here at. Uh, Look at on beach. It's absolutely beautiful. The noise you hear is because there seems to be a, a wedding going on down there. Ooh. And I am heading to the the banyos, but I'd say someone has a beach tennis set up here as well. It's not always here. That looks like fun. I don't want to photobomb their wedding, but we are going over to this house over here to uh, see what the facilities are like here. I haven't always had very good luck with bathrooms and balneadios. So we will take a look and see. Meanwhile, we'll bomb the wedding for just a moment. Here they are having a little wedding. If I were having a wedding at the beach, I would choose those colors as well. Very, very casual. Okay, so now, on to the facilities. This is beautiful, big, looks almost like an amphitheater kind of thing here. I know this is also the accessible area. So if you look over here, oh, we're going to the bathroom, we'll take a look. They have a, an accessible dock. Looks like they might even have some aqua aerobics sometimes. Or maybe they used to, because this looks a little abandoned, doesn't it? But you can see a little accessible dock here. You can actually go down in your wheelchair. It seems to be open, kind of. So if you have accessibility issues, this is probably a good beach to go to compared to some others here in Puerto Rico. And here's this building. 
really looks like a fan shell or something. I mean, it's really quite beautiful. Reciclaje, that's the recycling place. Now, let's see if there's anything. Uh, this, it says Baños Publicos here, but guess what? It looks closed. Looks like there used to be drinking fountains and they're gone. So there you go. No public baño there. Same with here. It's sort of pathetic, but it seems that there's no baños here. I mean, maybe in that building over there? I have no idea. But maybe over there, but certainly not here. So we're going to try the next one. You're not going to the bathroom here? Aha! You have to make a call to get a key. And maybe you also have to be in a wheelchair. So these people who are here for the wedding, I hope they don't have to pee. We're going to give something else a try. Over by the parking Estacionamento Bay, parking area B. There is a little building here that has a picture of a woman and a man on it. It's a little bit of a hike from the water, which is way back there, and through this wonderful grassy tree uh, covered area. It's not really covered with trees, but tree dotted. <laughs> um, there could be bathrooms here. We'll try that before deciding that the water is our best bet. This, this is a Saturday. So if there's any day it would be open, it would be today. But on weekdays, don't expect anything. It has been my experience. The Banos, here we are at the Banos building. This long building and who knows what all is in it. But it does appear that we're going to have success. Male and female bathrooms. Hallelujah. So here we are in the ladies room. There was someone in here, so I had to wait. No working lights. Hardly anything in the way of sink, but at least there's a tiny bit of water. Looks like these toilets have been removed. Gross. This one is not flushed, but at least there's paper. This one is working, but no paper. Another one that's working. This one has no door, but is working. And this one is working. But there's only one roll of toilet paper in the whole thing. There's certainly no place to change. And uh, it's not easy to wash your hands. So that's what you get in the bathroom. Bring your own toilet paper. Be happy if it's open at all. Look before you go in. Check the status of the toilet. That's it. A little quick shot of the, uh, the parking area. Super big. And... Uh... Off in the distance, there's actually another another parking area over there too. So, plenty of plenty of space here. Of course, it's a it's a big beach, but again, we've we've only been here in the, in the winter, and it hasn't been uh, super crowded here when we've been here. So, anyway, uh, check out the uh, uh, what these are. Check them out. See them? Ah, it's a squela. Yeah, kind of tie. It's a boat club here. Who knew? Ah, super nice. Look at all these people. Look at that. The kids. Kids are out here today. Oh. <laughs> this is just uh, right on the edge of, uh, of the Balneario. Not really nice. And here, just on the other side of the Balmero, the fence, the Balmero, people come, they park, 
and uh, they go to the the beach area that I just showed you, which is really really nice. So they save you four dollars for your, your entry fee here. And facing the ocean, way off to the right, we got the uh, the, the town of Bocaron, and uh, there are lots and lots of places you know to eat and to drink here. Shop and the shop. I mean, obviously it's a Tuesday, not too busy in the middle of winter, but uh, there's still some places open here. A little swing and get your picture taken. Yeah, the word yeah I think we've, uh, we've had a drink in this place. The beach house. But uh, certainly much more hopping on the weekends. To the left. Nice yeah, here we get this. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to see that. The place is called Tiny Fuck. <laughs> oh, I remember these on the weekends. Yeah. Cool people yep, with all kinds of street food. Street food here. And yeah. little uh, little oysters. Mm -hmm. And mussels and things that are a delicacy here in Puerto Rico. Right out of the water. Yeah. And more restaurants over here on the right. You can get in several of those. We've eaten at this one here. Yeah, the one here. Johnny Depp, the pirata. The pirata one. Los Remos, it's called. Uh, the more little. And the shark one to the left. El Tibaron. Tiburon. There's no parking up here. We saw some parking off to the right. There's a house of burger and mojito bar is the very last thing. So, uh, lots and of to the left here is a little park no. that you can hike in and walk in. Yep. This is the, uh, the town of Bocaron here on a Saturday afternoon. See, so uh, came through here before, we saw some of these stands, they weren't open, but uh, now, now they're open. And uh, the other place to get a little, even more hopping later on as the, uh, the, as the day goes on. <clears throat> One road traffic can be uh, a little bit difficult here on the Saturdays, but uh, nonetheless, it moves. Square. If you look over here, to the left, that's the beach we run. So it's actually within uh, walking distance here. You come and get a drink. Not much has happened here during the week in the winter, but uh, certainly here on a Saturday, it is uh, it's the liveliest we've, we've seen it here. So we don't usually go out to these places on the weekend. Perfect place to come if you uh, if you jet ski. Come, pull up, have a drink, go back out. That looks like fun. There's a more over here. Ah.
drawbridge here so that the, uh, the rich people can get their big boats out into the ocean. And uh, not too far down there is uh, our chairs, hopefully. Hopefully they're still there. Don't know that for a fact. We've been gone for a long, long time. Just chilling here on Saturday afternoon. So, uh, anyway, it was a, uh, it's a super, super, super nice day here at the Balneario Bocaron. Uh, just uh, pretty quiet on the beach. Not a lot of, not a lot of music. People with the big speakers. Uh, perfect temperature. Didn't rain on us. And uh, you know, we, we we certainly highly recommend uh, the Boca Raton here on the southwest corner of of Puerto Rico. Now, one of the added bonuses today is we saw uh, multiple stingrays jumping out of the water, you know, right off the beach. So we don't know what uh, what causes that. We don't see that dirt too often, but we uh, we had the opportunity to see that. Uh, several of those today so that was a, a rare treat anyway hope you enjoyed the video and um, we hope that uh, suitcase is always messy and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when we're up next video